Second King, uh, chapter 6 through 7, 16, 11, King James Version Bible. Alicia, <clears throat> Alicia giving lead to the young prophets to enlarge their dwellings, causes iron to swim, Uran to swim. He discloses the king of Syria, his council, the army which was sent to the de Thon to apprehend Elisha is smitten with blindness, being brought into Samaria, they are displaced in peace, dismissed in peace. The famine in Samaria causes women to eat their own children. Good Lord. The king sends her to slay Elisha. And the sons of the prophets said unto Elisha, Behold, not a place where we dwell with thee is too straight for us. Let us go, we pray thee, unto Jordan, and take thence every man that became, and let us make us a place there where he, we may dwell. And he answered, Go ye. And one said, Be content, I pray thee, and go with thy servants. And he answered, I will go. So he went with him. When they went to Jordan, they cut down wood. But as one was filling a beam, the axe head fell into the water, and he cried and said, Alas, master, for it was borrowed. And the man of God said, Where fell it? And he shewed him the place, and he cut down the stick and casted it thither and thither. And the one iron did swim. Therefore he said he, Take it up to thee, and he put out his hand and took it. Then the king of Syria warred against Israel and took counsel with his servants, saying, In such and such a place shall be my camp. And the man of God sent unto the king of Israel, saying, Beware that thou pass not such a place, for thither the Syrians are come down. And the king of Israel sent to the place which the man of God told him and warned him of, and saved himself there not once nor twice. Therefore, the heart of the king of Syria was so troubled for this thing, and he called his servants and said unto them, Will ye not shew me which of us is for the king of Israel? And one of his servants said, None, my lord, O king, but Elisha, the prophet that is in Israel, telleth this king, Tell it the king of Israel the words that thou speakest in thy bedchamber. And he said, Go and spy where he is, that I may send and fetch him. And it was told him, saying, Behold, he is in Dothan. Therefore sent he thither horses and chariots and a great host, and they came by night and compassed the city about. And when the servant of the man of God was risen early and gone forth, behold, and host compassed the city, both for horses and chariots. And his servant said unto him, Alas, my master, how shall we do? And he answered, Fear not, for they be with us, are more than they that be with them. And Elisha prayed and said, Lord, I pray thee open his eyes that he may see. And the Lord opened the eyes of the young man, and he saw, and behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire round about Elisha. And when they came down to him, Elisha prayed unto the Lord and said, Smit, smite this people, I pray thee, with blindness. And he smote them with blindness according to the word of Elisha. And Elisha said unto them, This is not the way, neither is this the site city. Follow me, I will bring you to the man whom ye seek. But he led them to Samaria, and it came to pass when they would come to Samaria that Elisha said, Lord, open the eyes of these men, that they may see. And the Lord opened their eyes, and they saw, and behold, they were in the midst of Samaria. And the king of Israel said unto Elisha, when he saw them, My father, shall I smite them? Shall I smite them? And he answered, Thou shalt not smite them. Wouldest thou smite those whom thou hast taken captive with thy sword and with thy bow, set bread and water before them, that they may eat and drink and go to their master? And he prepared great provision for them. And when they had eaten and drunk, he 
sent them away and they went to their masters. So the bands of Syria came no more into the land of Israel. And it came to pass after this that Ben and Dad, king of Syria, gathered all his hosts and went up and besieged Samaria. And there was a great famine in Samaria, and behold, they besieged it until all asses' head was sold for fourscore pieces of silver and the fourth part of a cab of doves dung for five pieces of silver. And as the king of Israel was passing by upon the wall, there cried a woman unto him, saying, Help my lord, O king. And he said, If the lord did not help thee, when shall I help thee out of the barn floor or out of the wine press? And the king said unto her, What aileth thee? And she answered, This woman said unto me, Give thy son that we may eat him today, and we will eat my son tomorrow. So we boiled my son and did eat him. And I said unto her, On the next day, give thy son that we may eat. Eat him, and she hath hid her son. And it came to pass, when the king heard the words of the woman, that he rent his clothes and he passed by upon the wall and the people looked and behold, he had sackcloth within upon his flesh. Then he said, go do so and mow also to me if the head of Elisha, the son of Shaphat, should stand on him this day. But Elisha sat in his house and the elders sat with him and the king sent the man from before him. But you the messenger came to him. He said to the elders, see how this son of a murderer have sent to take away mine head. Look when the messenger cometh, shut the door, and hold him fast at the door. Is not the sound of his master's feet behind him? And while yet while he yet talked with them, behold, a messenger came down unto him, and he said, Behold, the evil is of the Lord. What should I wait for the Lord any longer? Hmm. Well, I have a little commentary for tonight. Um, um, I don't know. I don't. I don't have any commentary before I lie, rather than I say nothing. So keep God first. <laughs>